Hey people, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have some Rec Room news. That is right, we're going to be talking about a weekly rotation and some full body avatar stuff you might want to know about. So strap right in and let's get started for today's video. But before we actually do get started, I do want to say thank you guys so much for your recent support. Not only on my recent video because that video got confetti and stuff like that, but also on Avatar Color Changer 2.0. I told you guys to check out this room because I wanted the actual Rec Room hoodie and you needed C tier for that. And we got it. We got at least 31 people spending two hours in this room. So thank you guys for all the love and support, and thank you guys for letting me have the Rooms 2.0 hoodie. Now, let's try to reach S tier so we could probably earn some tokens. I need at least 250 people, and if you have time and, you know, are doing nothing in Rec Room, then feel free to check out Avatar Color Changer 2.0. Also, I'm going to be a meta affiliate partner or something like that. Basically, I'll have my own creator code for, you know, meta and stuff. So if you guys ever spend money on meta and actually use it through my affiliate link, then I will actually earn a percentage of what you spend. I just got the email and stuff like this. I'm not even like an official partner yet, but I just got the email and I wanted to share it because I'm super hyped to see what it will bring. If you have a meta device, be sure to let me know down inside the comments below and be sure to use my affiliate link whenever I get it. Now, inside of the rec center, we have some new stuff for this new weekly. Most notably, our pop-up shop, as you guys can see. This seems to have a big spring theme. On the watch store, it's referred to as April showers. And if you guys are interested, you guys can see all the items here. Now, in this April showers pop-up shop, we have some new items, but I want to go over the decor first. We have a new little frog buddy. Be sure to let me know what you guys want his name to be down inside the comments below. Trees, wheat, flowers, you know, some hot dogs and stuff like that. And then we have this well. Very, very basic design. And of course, for our items, we have this lily pad hat, this froggy shoulder buddy, the lotus pe flower pendant, the lotus flower earring, the froggy rain boots for full body avatars. Now, if you guys are a little confused, if you're a bean body avatar, this disappears and you won't be able to see it. Just so you know, you don't accidentally buy this thinking you'll be able to wear them on your bean body avatar. Then we also have this leaf backpack, then we have this bee set, and then we have this pink frog backpack, the paint thrower skin, and this midsummer verdant floral cape. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on this pop-up shop, and honestly, it's not a bad one, despite being super basic. And I cannot wait to see what Rec Room's going to add for full body avatars soon, we already just got our first edition. The first item to actually be sold for full body avatars, that is. And um, when I have enough tokens, I'm getting that for sure. Now, inside the actual Rec Center shop, you guys will find these items. None of them are new, and um, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. But inside this pop-up shop, we got a new Rec Room Plus season called Spectacular Spring. This season brings our new ceremonial spring vest and if you guys don't know this is free for every Rec Room Plus player. What are your guys' thoughts about this spring vest? And I'm not gonna lie when it's these you know bean body type I think that this vest kind of looks pretty dumb but on the full body avatar it actually doesn't look bad at all. Just a personal opinion though I'm kind of weird like that. Then over here inside the actual shop for the kitchen you guys will find that they brought back the Easter cake and our bubble tea. I think the bubble tea is still limited though and hopefully they keep these around for a little bit longer. No weekly this time for our weekly sadly but we did get a new featured creator official billy bob vr his commissions are closed and you guys can find his tiktok he's been in featured rooms eight times featured inventions once featured custom shirts once tokens made was almost one million that's really good had early access to Rockham studio and is a workshop host cool to see that and with a new featured creator means that we'll be getting a new board eventually now at the moment uh, if i actually get the weekly rotation image i will show it on the screen right now but at the moment that i'm recording this there is no weekly rotation image so we don't know what will come inside the future and stuff like that. Kind of sucks because they kind of have been late on the weekly rotation images recently and I can't really, you know, tell you guys and stuff, but it's whatever. Once I actually get it, if I don't, you know, post it whilst I'm editing this and stuff like that, I will show you guys in my community post or on my social media. So be sure to follow me. Now, if you guys weren't aware, Gorilla Tech also recently had an update as well. They had some recent new additions to their shops and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you guys don't really care too much, but they also had this new thing that you can do now. In the cloud section of the actual you know, Gorilla Tag map or world or universe, whatever it is, you can now, you know, use leaves to fly. They had some promotional videos about it and stuff like that, and hopefully I'm showing them on the screen. But of course, it's pretty cool, and I would check it out if you guys have Gorilla Tag installed. I cover Gorilla Tag news whenever I can and stuff like that, and you guys should definitely check out this update. A shout. Do you play Gorilla Tag? Be sure to let me know, and what are your guys' thoughts on the flying mechanics with the leaves and stuff? I haven't played yet, but honestly, it seems kind of tricky. Now let's take a break from all this, you know, weekly stuff, and let's talk a little bit about full body avatars. Rec Room developers had this 
latest announcement saying, hey all, another full body avatars update for you. Now, all level 40 plus players have access to the beta. We're also super excited to introduce lower body specific items like pants and shoes to the store, starting with the froggy boots and hopping into the store, hopping into the store today. Click the link below for more info and we'll be in touch soon. Now, this link would basically take you to one of their little, you know, websites on rec.net and it gave you some more additional information of an update as of April 5th. Now, this first, you know, beginning paragraph is the same as the announcement, but they have more information as we scroll down. This is just another step towards letting you customize your avatar to your heart's content, with updates for head and body shapes right around the corner and even more options coming soon. If you don't yet have access to the beta but want to be able to see full body avatars, only items, which are pants and shoes, you can toggle the setting to see them on and off in the watch settings under miscellaneous. You won't get access to the beta from buying these items, but when you get access to the, for, to the beta and eventually full release, you'll be able to see and wear these items in your inventory. There will also be a warning about this in-game if you try to purchase the item without current access. We've been listening to your feedback about full body avatars and there are a four, few more fixes and improvements directly from your suggestions that are landing soon. If you have any suggestions or questions, please voice them here. Thanks for all your help so far and we're excited to share more updates with you shortly. And that's the recent full body avatar update. Of course, what are your guys' thoughts and do you have access yet? We had talked about all level 40 players getting access to full body avatars, but it seems like they, you know, decided to make a genuine announcement about it. Talking about yesterday, we had actually gotten a little update on sleeves with full body avatars from a developer called Jode Animation. Heads up, we've been hard at work on some sleeve updates coming over the next couple updates. Here's just a few. And in these images, he actually shows off, you know, the sleeve updates, of course, but some of these items are actually unreleased. Um, kind of a little whoopsie here, but of course, it just happens. And honestly, thank you, Jode Animation. We appreciate the little, you know, sneak peek here. And of course, the little, you know, sneak peek at the work that you're doing. If you guys are interested in Rec Room Full Body Avatar pants, Jode Animation has confirmed that yes to pants. We have a bunch of pants waiting to ship, and they're selling new item types in the store needed some code changes, and it'll be very, very soon. When asked if heels will make you taller, Jode Animation had confirmed that there'd be no height change with shoes yet. When they implement code to support proper high heels and platform shoes, they'll be able to start adding that to shoes. Now lastly, if you guys are interested in Rec Room bugs, there's actually been a bit of bugs with some, you know, frog items inside of Rec Room. Most notably this new one, apparently a Rec Room player was wearing this actual shoulder buddy, and he appeared all dirty, like he was glitchy almost. He's a little green dude as you guys can see, but he's not supposed to look like that as you guys can see. And with the actual frog headband, the eyes were kind of all glitchy too, it was super weird, I got a video about that as well kind of freaky stuff and honestly be sure to let me know if you guys are actually seeing this as well don't know what could be the cause of it i don't know if it's like a platform issue or whatever it could be but of course if you guys know leave a comment please hey did you know that I have memberships? Of course, massive shout out to all my Pookies and my channel memberships which decide to give me their hard earned cash once a month. These people include Virtual Reality, Jack Tutorial, Mufi, Sony Robot, Logan from Hell, April Colors, S Plus Maniac, Manuel Lopez, Delgado, Nub Dub, The Monkey VR, Fox Master, BBB Burning Owl, Zipical, Carl the Skunk, Bucket Guy, Yo It's Jakey, Trevor A, Raphael, Cloud, and Netflix69, Fox David, and Dozer Blade Cat. Thank you for the love, people, and of course, let's get back into the video. And one last thing, the events for this, you know, couple days. Be sure to let me know if you guys actually go to these events or not. And that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about inside today's video. And I really do appreciate you guys watching to this point. Thank you guys so much for the love and support and stuff like that. And if you guys have happened to enjoy this video, then feel free to like it. I really do appreciate it. And you should totally check out my second channel as well. Did you also know that I have a code in Rec Room? Yes, that's right. I have a code in Rec Room. But I'll eventually have one in Meta too. That code is SK0L. It's just my name, Skull, or you guys can go to my profile and click that support button, which is arguably easier. Though the code does actually expire every 45 days, so if you're supporting me or, you know, had supported me, be sure to check if you're still supporting me. If you guys want to see more news content and stuff like that, go check out my recent video. It was a really good watch. It seems like people are watching it and stuff like that, and it was about the new Hot Picks game that had just came out for some players. Of course, other than that, thank you guys so much for the love, be sure to subscribe, and now I have to punch you. Brofist. Nee!